Excel software, and I'm running version 1.1.0. There is a new 2.0 version available. Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin, and we're doing another Q&A episode. This comes from emails that you submitted to me, and the big one I've been getting this week has been on the uh, Q Ground Control software that works with the AR drone. And what Q Ground Control does, if you watch my prior video, uh, it allows you to use a computer to load a course into your AR drone and have the drone fly autonomously throughout that course. And it works uh, amazingly well. So you can check out my video for how to set it up and use it. However, the one thing I didn't show you was the first step, which was connecting the software to the drone. And there's a couple things that uh, you need to have in place before you do that. So the first thing you need to make sure you have is a Parrot AR Drone 2.0. This is the one I have. It's a little, little beat up from some uh, rather unfortunate flights that it's had recently, but uh, this is the 2.0. Uh, it will not work on the 1.0. So you're going to have the latest version of the Parrot Drone 2.0. The other thing that you need is the, uh, is the flight recorder, which is this little orange box on here. This is an add-on that connects via USB. Uh, to the drone itself, and this is what adds the GPS capability. So without this, you cannot use it uh, with Q Ground Control because it doesn't have a way to know where the heck it is. So that's an important part as well. Now the other thing is you need to do a firmware update on the drone if you haven't done one in a while. So uh, what you do is download the latest version of the app, uh, and then you'll have an AR drone update option here. Now mine's already up to date, so it says it's good to go. However, if your uh, drone is not up to date, it'll tell you as much and load in the latest firmware. And that firmware is what makes all of this work. So you gotta make sure that you get that loaded in. What I am not sure about, maybe somebody in the comments can offer some, some advice on this, is whether or not the Android version of the app will bring the drone up to its current version. Because uh, uh, the Android, is a, as, a as of the time I'm shooting this video, the Android app doesn't work with the, with the flight recorder just yet. That feature is coming. So I'm not sure if the Android app will load in the firmware that's compatible with it or not. So that's something to check out. And that could be uh, why some of you are having problems. Now the next step is to connect your computer to the drone. So once you get all those pieces in place, uh, you load up the Q ground control software. And then what you do is uh, you load, it, load up the software. Um, the first thing you have to do though, of course, is connect it to your drone. So we're gonna connect to uh, my drone here and with my Wi-Fi, just like I would a network uh, at your house or at your office or something like that. And once it connects, uh, we will then go down to my Q ground control software and I'm running version 1.1.0. There is a new 2.0 version available. However, I haven't tried it yet, and this one works for me. So if it works for me, it'll probably work for you. So go with the 1.1.0 beta and load that up. Uh, when it first comes up, it's going to ask you, how do you want to connect? And we're going to say we want to connect via Wi-Fi. So uh, that's the next step there. Um, it will then load up. And uh, there's a firewall option here too. So if you have a firewall on, that could be part of the problem too. I'm gonna to allow it in. And I'm connected, I'm in an emergency state, probably because I've been tossing the thing around a little bit more than it, it was comfortable with. Now you'll notice that when I turned it on here, I'm not getting the map. And the reason is, is that it's connected uh, to the drone. So I gotta connect back to my Wi-Fi uh, to get uh, the map drawn in here. But once I do that, uh, the map will fill in and then you can close out afterward to, uh, to you know, to, to reconnect to it again. So uh, right now I'm in my basement, so my drone thinks it's off the coast of Africa, but in fact, uh, we're in North America here. But as you can see, as I zoom in on the map, uh, I will get uh, better detail of it there. So, um, so those are the steps to do that. You just wanna make sure that you uh, get that firmware updated. Make sure you have all the right hardware first, because sometimes you may think you have the right thing and you don't. Uh, but get that firmware in there, and then uh, you should just be able to connect right up. And you can watch my other video for uh, how the process works. But um, I found it to be really simple to connect with it. So if you're having trouble getting all this stuff to work, I would blame either the firmware that you have on board uh, the AR drone, uh, or perhaps a older version of the, uh, the Q ground control software, or perhaps the newer one that I haven't even played with yet because this one's working so well for me. But again, uh, you know, post some comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'm in particular very interested to hear from uh, people who have Android devices as to whether or not that newest firmware is getting pushed to the drone from Android. This is Lon Seib, and thanks for watching.